Many of you are wondering why my first film has been pulled and replaced. No, some secret society did not tamper with my presentation. I pulled my own film because it contained one major and three minor inaccuracies. Shortly after my film reached a 10,000 view mark, I was contacted by a researcher who has been looking into the facts of the Illuminati for about a decade longer than I have. Please, do yourself a favor and buy his recent book if you want to know more about the Illuminati. It is the first documented and comprehensive source about the subject in English. Had I known about it when I was doing my research, I would have saved myself weeks of time, not to mention a lot of frustration and embarrassment. To my anger and horror, Mr. Melanson told me that the Albert Pike letter about three world wars was fiction. He has written an extensive article proving this beyond a shadow of doubt. Please read it. I immediately replied to Mr. Melanson and vowed to pull and correct my film. I will tell you that I flip-flopped on this promise, mainly because I couldn't wrap my head around the fact that a secondary source, which almost everybody quotes, made up two-thirds of this supposed letter. But the facts are the facts. This is especially true when the original source of this letter, Leo Taxel, admits that he made it up. Yes, Albert Pike played a major role in the U.S. Civil War. Yes, Albert Pike was the leader of Freemasonry in America. Yes, Albert Pike wrote about Lucifer in Morals and Dogma. No, Albert Pike did not have a vision for three world wars to consolidate power under Lucifer. The Bible says that there is no such thing as prophecy unless it comes from the Lord. If Pike envisioned fascism, communism, Zionism, and World Wars 1, 2, and 3, he would have been more precise than all the Bible prophets combined. This would also turn Lucifer into a holy man. This extensive false quotation has been cut from the film. The quote about Zionism inducing anti-Semitism, often attributed to Theodore Herzl, is also fake. I did consult Jewish sources to confirm that the alleged quotation wasn't a piece of anti-Semitic propaganda. Because I can't find the quotation in Google Books, which I'm now aware of, I must assume that it's fake and cut it from the film. All other information about political Zionism stands. The precise details about the Illuminati, Weishaupt's background, and why the nobility wanted to join the Illuminati have been expanded and corrected. The changes made from the original script are shown in blue. The same approach is also used to update the information on the links between the Rothschilds, the Illuminati, and Frankism. Finally, the relationship between the Illuminati and the British royal family is made absolutely clear. By now, you might be asking yourself one question. How can we trust your information? I'll answer that question with a question. How many researchers would be willing to correct their own information and tell you about the corrections they've made? If you can prove that there are other serious issues with my film, I'll pull it again. I don't care about 12,000 views in the first six weeks. I care about the truth, and I know you do too. Thank you for your hundreds of kind emails, YouTube comments, and friend invitations. I'm getting back to them now. Now you know the reason for the delay, and better late than ever. The good news is that I'm now starting on Volume 2. God bless. Leonard Ulrich